So I'm in the middle of deburring an endless array of these little guys, which is lots of fun with your Scotch Brite and your little files and all that stuff. And noticed online that there are a number of people that have made this little guy out of a Scotch Brite wheel. I found the original post on the Vans uh, Air Force forum. So I read through that and looked at some other pictures and things, but uh, thought I'd give it a shot. Um, it's actually extremely easy to make and it works really well. So let me show you how I cut a piece out of this little two inch scotch bright wheel and turned it into that. And uh, yeah, give it a shot. I think it'll save you some time. So as you can imagine, the first step is to just take your little two inch scotch bright wheel and divide it up like a pizza into eight little pie pieces. So I just took a straight edge and a Sharpie marker and drew some lines. The material is soft enough that you really could cut through this with a, a fairly sharp knife, but I had my bandsaw handy. So I just went ahead and used that just to make nice clean cuts and make things a little bit simpler for myself. So I just cut one wedge out here, and as you can see, the wedge is pretty thick. So what I'll do next is take that wedge, and I'll take a knife, and I'll just cut that in half. So basically, each one of these wedges can turn into two of your deburring tools. So you can get 16 deburring tips out of each one of these scotch Bright wheels. Next, you just take the little screw head mandrel that goes in a Dremel tool, and it just screws right into the back here. You don't have to pre-drill a hole or anything like that. Uh, you can just pretty much screw it right into the scotch Bright piece. And then the next step that I'm doing here with a knife is just cutting off the corners a little bit, just to make it a little bit closer to round. I don't really think you need to do this. You can probably just take it from this point right over to your main scotch bright wheel but just to make it a little bit easier I just took the corners off of it and now I'm just going to take it over to my main scotch bright wheel that I've got here on the grinder the scotch bright wheel itself from this perspective is rotating down towards the table as it comes toward me and then the dremel tool where I've got the tip attached is rotating in the opposite direction so it's spinning on there in a clockwise fashion well, the edge that's going to meet up against the scotch bright wheel, it's coming up at that. So I've got the Dremel tool on kind of about a medium setting, and then I'm just going to gently bring it over to the edge of the scotch bright wheel and let it grind itself down and shape it the way I want it. I'm not using very much pressure here, just kind of a light pressure, and then as it starts to grind down, I can add a little bit more pressure but it really doesn't take a whole lot to do this. It comes off pretty quick. Also, I decided to do it against the side of the scotch Bright wheel. You could certainly do it in the front as well. I just figured with the side, I had a nice long flat edge to work with and it just made things a little bit easier. And then as you can see here, after just a couple of passes and just about a minute or so, you've got a really nice shaped cone. which as you can see is great for getting into all these tight spaces. And because it's a cone shape, you can use it on some larger edges as well as some smaller edges. It just kind of fits pretty much anywhere you need it to go. Also as a little side note, if you use this on kind of a straight edge, you're gonna end up with a groove uh, kind of worn down into it fairly quickly, which on your main scotch bright wheel, you typically want to avoid that. But actually, I kind of found that it works kind of nice if you let it wear down a couple grooves in a couple different spots on this, uh, because that way, if you've got some kind of short straight edges that you don't want to take to the main wheel, having that groove, it actually works really nice because it gets the flat edge as well as both sides at the same time as it just kind of runs down the edge of whatever it is you're deburring. So it's a really handy tool. Um, I'm loving it. 
Uh, definitely saves a lot of time versus getting out all your little files and trying to get into all those little nooks and crannies everywhere. So the larger scotch Sprite wheel is still definitely faster for doing all your big edges and all that stuff, but when it comes to getting into these little corners right here, um, yeah, this little tool, it gets right in there. It's nice too because, you know, it's tapered so you can work your way into a smaller area um, and then it's also got a, you know, slightly bigger side to get into some of these little rounded curves and things like that, so, yeah took about, I don't know, five minutes to make it. And uh, yeah, I think it'll save me a lot of time and headache. So that's good. Hope it was useful, guys. Give it a like if you like it and uh, share it with somebody else if you think it might help them out. All right, back to building.